is Alana Sasshauer, thereafter Ellen Oxman, and then Leon um, Kozoil. And I apologize for the mispronunciation. My name is Elena Sassauer. I am director and co-founder of the Center for Judicial Accountability, a nonpartisan, nonprofit citizens organization that documents corruption in the judiciary involving judicial selection, judicial discipline, the judicial process itself. Cases are perfect paper trails. There is a record. So it's easy to document judicial corruption. Now, I have much to say, and three minutes is utterly inadequate. But I cannot present the testimony that I have intended to present without protesting vigorously as to what has taken place here with respect to this hearing. I contacted the Commission to investigate public corruption on July 19th. That was just days after it had announced the public hearings that were to begin today. And I spoke with Bryce Jones, your administrative assistant, and I gave him a tip and a comment. I said, your announcement does not indicate any RSVP. You're not requiring registration. How is this going to work? I said, in 2009, John Sampson, Senator John Sampson, as chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee, held hearings on the Commission on Judicial Conduct and the attorney disciplinary system. And there were so many people. They couldn't be accommodated. So let me tell you, if you are going to be holding hearings on corruption, public corruption generally, Take this example. Take this word for the wise. You need to have a process, a procedure, an RSVP, a registration. I followed it up in a correspondence. And I have to ask, because I don't want to say nasty things that are not deserved. How many of you commissioners are familiar with my August 5th letter? Well, are you, are you asking for a show of hands if we've read it? Uh, yes, if, if actually. I've read, your, I've read all of your correspondence that you've sent. And did you not feel that it needed to be responded well, to? I, I, don't, I don't want to debate with you. I, well, I don't want you to waste your time. Okay, well, let me tell you what has happened. Because after 5 p.m. on September 5th, that is about 11 days ago, you suddenly put on your website a registration procedure. But there was no public announcement of that. So there were many people who, had, who were aware of the hearings who didn't know that they were going to have to register. And then there was another problem. Because there was a, you didn't announce the, the registration procedure, but there was um, a lack of clarity. Because you seemed to indicate that registration was required by 12 noon yesterday <laughs> But then there was a requirement of a written statement, also by 12 noon. So the question was, was that a two-fold requirement? You had to have a written statement in addition to the registration? And I sent an email asking, well, what does this mean? And there was no response. So what has happened? I'll tell you what happened today. today you had, I 
I took names. I, I took maybe 40, 50 names of people outside, and those were just the names that I could get. But there were many, many people who came from very far away, who traveled hours to be here, just to have an opportunity to be heard for three minutes, which is an obscenely small amount of time. You didn't have to have a hearing with Preet Bharara and Loretta Lynch and Cyrus Vance, who can call the press at any opportunity. Nothing they said today, you didn't know. We all knew it, we all heard it. They took our valuable time. They took away from those people who you turned away. And, and, look at the size of this room. First of all, it's too small. But even still, you could have put twice the number of chairs here, but you didn't choose to. You even called up people this morning, I don't know how many, maybe a reasonable question is, how many people registered? And how many people did you call up this morning and say to them, no, they weren't going to be permitted to testify? And sometimes the reason was that uh, you, you claim that their statements were not germane. In other words, you use the statement as to, to censor. M but Ms. actually, Ms. I'm Sauer, familiar actually, with some did, of these we statements. We and we there was, do that, and what, what okay. we're doing, I understand, so, you're, you're, right. I understand your Fine. criticisms. I really do. Well, let me just but, say, but let me just sure say that, that, that this, this very institution well. has an auditorium. You could have held this, he this hearing in the auditorium. You yes. could have held it in an armory. Yes. This is Manhattan. Yes. You turn people away, not even giving them an opportunity to sit and be part of something so important. Now, let you me just, before, be, before, before I, I, I promised I like that I would recite their names, uh, the people whose names I took, but it would fill three minutes just to do that. But let me not leave before saying something further. This commission is supposed to restore, restore public trust. It's right behind you. You've operated in such an illegitimate fashion behind closed doors. You have serious and substantial co correspondence about your procedures, your rules and you don't respond, and you, you, you put together a hearing where har there's hardly an opportunity to speak in three minutes. But let me just say, Ms. Sassar, please. but you've spoken for seven, and fine, there are others who want fine. to speak to Then too. I cannot leave. I, I will travel to Albany so that I might have another three minutes. However, before leaving, this is Okay, I respectfully submit and ask each member of this commission to read the correspondence that was withheld from you by your executive director, Regina Calcaterra, and by your three co-chairs, because I think you need to know how they are operating. And also, because as I'm sure you know, most of you being lawyers, that there are threshold issues relating to conflicts of interest. You are presuming to judge others as to conflicts of interest. M how are you, uh, how M are Ms. you, Sassauer, how are you, what are your rules and testify. procedures? What, are your pro what is your protocol for conflicts of interest? Now, I will leave with you. This is the verified complaint in the lawsuit against the state suing Governor Cuomo and Attorney General Schneiderman as the first named defendants for corruption, for fraud, for grand larceny of the public fisc involving tens and hundreds of millions of dollars and ultimately billions with respect to the judicial pay raises. This is part of a verify of complaints that have been filed with U.S. Attorney Preet Prahara, with U.S. Attorney Loretta Lynch, with U.S. Attorney Richard Hartunian, with 
Ms. Sasser, Jay, actually, Jay, you will, you've almost had 10 minutes. The Joint Committee on Public Ethics with um, the Inspector General, and I'm leaving out the last, well, actually, there are some that I have not included, uh, uh, District Attorney Soares. District Attorney Soares. Ms. Sasser, Ms. Sasser. Sasser. Uh, you right, really fine. You really have ex what? extended, we've extended yes. you 10 minutes. So let me just, let me to, just no, conclude I don't, I do by not saying need, that I do not need you to conclude. You've okay. been here for 10 minutes. You've, all you've talked about is process. And yes, we have to get to our next speaker. Process we have is speakers. the most important, isn't it? Right? Do process. Thank you very much. But I, can't, out. I cannot Please. leave. Please, Without saying, please step aside. You are. You, there are many people who are coming forward Ms. to Sasser, complain about I'm the corruption ask you, in the judiciary. I'm going to ask you for the last the time. The monitor is the commission is on up. judicial conduct of the state of New York. That was that commission well, is I'm the monitor. I'm going to have to get security to remove you, ma'am, if you don't give up your time. You've had over Betty 10 minutes. Betty Weinberg, Ellerin, Ellen, threw the lawsuit. Ms. The key lawsuit against the commission well, on Ms. judicial Ms. Sasser, are you well over 10 minutes? Please. There are many other people here this evening who are, want to speak, Aiden, so please give the opportunity to them Aiden to speak as well. Ellen Oxman is going to be the next Aiden speaker, and, and after that, Le Leon Cazoyle. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Aided Aiden, Aiden and abetted by Robert Morgenthau. Is Ellen Daniel Oxman Castleman. available? Is Ellen Oxman available? How are you going to deal with Great. conflicts of interest? And how are you dealing with conflicts of interest involving the judicial pay raises when district attorney's salaries are You have already testified. You have already utilized how are you plenty of time. With Thank of you interest. for your testimony this evening. Is Ellen Oxman available? And then after that, Leon Cazoyle. Shame. Shame. This is corruption. This is public corruption. Is Ellen Oxman available? It's open and shut. Can be done in a matter of minutes. Right. Miss Oxman, and then after. Um